Well, the sun came up today on a United Kingdom that will stay united for the foreseeable future. Voters in Scotland said no Thursday to a plan to end their 307 year union with Craig England. Fer Craig Ferguson is a Scot, of course, we should mention. So what happens now in Scotland and in the United Kingdom? Charlie Daggett is in London with more. Good morning, Charlie. Good morning. Well, what happens now is cleaning up the mess of a campaign that exposed bitter divides within Scotland itself, raised resentment on both sides of the border. A breakup would have been disastrous for all kinds of reasons, but sometimes staying together for the sake of the family can be tough, too. Victory celebrations turned nasty overnight. Waving the British flag and singing Rule Britannia was just rubbing it in to those who lost the vote for independence, and police had to keep both sides from squaring off. Down in London, the British government faces the challenge of dealing with the please don't go promises of sweeping new powers that Prime Minister David Cameron made to Scottish voters. We now have a chance, a great opportunity, to change the way the British people are governed and change it for the better. And the man who lost the fight, Alex Salmon, warned that British politicians better keep their word. We have now the uh, opportunity to hold Westminster's feet to the fire on the vow that they have made to devolve further meaningful power to Scotland. But Scotland would have to do it without him. Uh, for me as, uh, as leader, my time is, uh, is nearly over. Not nearly over. Over, over, he quit. Today, the talk is all about reconciliation and healing. Even the Queen, who tries to stay out of politics, called for mutual respect and support and that the enduring love of Scotland will help the country come together. Today, the man widely credited with putting the nail in the coffin of Scottish independence, former Prime Minister Gordon Brown, urged restraint. There is a time to fight, but there is a time to unite and this is the time for Scotland to unite and see if it can find common purpose and move from the battleground to the common ground and let us seek to find high ground in trying to find a way forward uh, for the future. Finding the common ground might be a challenge after months of fighting. Well over a million people voted to break away from Britain and many who chose not to did so out of fear rather than loyalty. The referendum might be over, but this morning the United Kingdom feels more divided than it's been for a while. Benita? So many people referencing a marriage when they talk about all of this. Charlie Daggett in London this morning. Thank you.